President Donald Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel has met with criticism in the Arab world as well as in Europe and elsewhere. VOA's Lani Tzahok has more. As expected, Palestinians and their supporters worldwide have reacted angrily to the U.S. president's decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. He is appeasing religious extremism here and abroad, and he has dealt a death blow to the prospects of peace in the region. There are concerns that Trump's move undermines a two-state solution for the Middle East. The UN Secretary General said the status of Jerusalem should be resolved through direct negotiations between the Israelis and the Palestinians and reiterated that any unilateral move could undermine the peace efforts. I will do everything in my power to support the Israeli and Palestinian leaders to return to meaningful negotiations. The chief Palestinian negotiator said Trump's move disqualifies the United States as a player in the Middle East peace process. He is in total violation of international law, human rights, and he's turning the conflict between Palestinian and Israelis from a political one into a religious one. Some analysts agree that Trump's decision signals an end of the American-led peace process. The Palestinian public uh, wouldn't allow it. Um, so any Palestinian leader who tries to, I think, would be thoroughly discredited uh, in the eyes of his people. Uh, I, I do think that it is the end of an American-led peace process. The head of an Orthodox Jewish advocacy group in Washington told VOA that recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital will help revive the peace process. The announcement by President Trump today and the start of the process towards relocating the embassy uh, sends a very important message to the Palestinians and the others, which is if you stay on the sidelines, um, you're not. things are not going to stay uh, status quo, you're actually going to lose ground. So that it's really in your interest to find ways to, first of all, stop things that are undermining of a peace, potential peace process. A 1995 U.S. law envisions a relocation of the U.S. Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. But so far, all presidents before Trump have signed waivers to postpone the move amid security concerns. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.